The history of epidemiology can be traced back to ancient times, but the modern era of epidemiology began in the 19th century with the work of John Snow. In ancient times, diseases were often attributed to supernatural causes, and treatment typically involved magic and rituals. However, Hippocrates, the Greek physician, made significant contributions to epidemiology by introducing the concept of disease patterns and environmental factors in disease causation. He is also known for his theory of the four humors, which proposed that imbalances in bodily fluids could cause disease. During the Middle Ages, the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death, ravaged Europe and Asia, leading to the development of quarantine measures and the establishment of public health measures. In the 17th century, the English physician John Grant collected and analyzed data on mortality rates in London, making him one of the first epidemiologists. In the 19th century, John Snow was widely considered the father of modern epidemiology. He conducted a study on the 1854 cholera outbreak in London and used a map to demonstrate that the outbreak was caused by contaminated water from the Broad Street pump. This study helped establish the importance of identifying the source of disease outbreaks and taking appropriate preventive measures. In the early 20th century, epidemiology became more systematic and scientific with the development of statistical methods for analyzing data. In the 1930s and 1940s, epidemiologists focused on the study of infectious diseases, such as tuberculosis and syphilis, which were major public health concerns at the time. In the latter half of the 20th century, epidemiology expanded to include chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Today, epidemiology plays a critical role in public health, helping to identify risk factors and develop strategies to prevent or control the spread of diseases. With the advent of new technologies, such as genetic sequencing and big data analysis, epidemiology is expected to play an even more significant role in improving global health in the future.